we're both parents to this child and we're on the same team. Like right. we have the same outcome and that is to have a happy baby, to make sure he's safe, to make sure he's in a thriving environment. Mm -hmm. And when difficulties arise, you know, with the sleepless nights and, you know, maybe the baby's sick or, you know, he's having a, he or she's having a hard time with something just as a baby, these new things that, that happen, it's very easy to keep score yeah. and want to say, well, I did this and you didn't do that and you did this and you didn't do that. And I even fell victim to it recently. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like nobody's perfect, but it's so important to always communicate and say like, hey, this is not what we want to do. And at the end of the day, we're on the same team. Right. Like yeah. our job is to work together to make sure he's happy. Right. And that actually, I'm glad that you brought that point up because that made me also think about, um, we did a video maybe a couple of months ago mm -hmm. um, where Barack and, uh, Barack and Michelle, well, well, actually it was just Michelle on it the podcast. It was just Michelle and Michelle. she was on a podcast. She was talking about the early years of their relationship when they first had their, their first kids. Mm -hmm. And she said for the 10 years of their relationship, she disliked Barack. 10 years of their relationship because of the kids because she was keeping score that's what the the main thing was right mm -hmm. and, and and don't get me wrong especially as moms we have so much on our our brains that i don't think that fathers truly understand that and so you know like i said i felt you know i fell victim to it recently or not victim to it but I fell in that as well of keeping score because as a mom, we have so many things racing through our heads. You know, it's not, it's more than just like, Oh, you got to feed the baby. You got to do this. And so oftentimes we're very overstimulated. And so I think that it's easy to, at times want to keep score because it's just like, I am juggling so many things. Right you know, as a mom and trying to, you know, not only do stuff for the baby, but I'm dealing with postpartum as a mom, you know, we're dealing with postpartum, um, postpartum challenges, postpartum, our bodies, trying to get our bodies normalized again. Um, and that's physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, and, you know, showing up and being present in your marriage and being present as a mom and being right. present for yourself and being present in the workplace. And so oftentimes that can get really overwhelming. And I think it's easy for us to want to keep score because it's like if we're dealing with all of these things and you can't do this one thing or you've only done two things and I've already done 20, that's a problem. But it's really not a problem it's just the problem is there hasn't been any communication around it because if you are feeling like you've done 20 things and your partner's only done two, then say something to help lessen the load. And I think as moms, we, you know, that's, that at times it's easier said than done, um, but that can cause resentment in the relationship and therefore, you know, cause problems in the relationship and cause there to be more turmoil because that builds that resentment. Right. And when I, you're when you keep score. Exactly. And I think we, we, we had that conversation early on in our parenthood or probably even before the parenthood that we understand that there's going to be challenging times yeah. when it comes to raising him. And the responsibility will not always be 50 50 and more of the responsibility, unfortunately, but. The, the reality is is going to be on you sometimes. And I think the whole keeping score thing can get really challenging for the relationship because of what you said, because the resentment or because of, you know, you're keeping score over a week, over a month, over however long. Mm -hmm. And all of that, those tallies, start to add up to a point where it then start things start to boil over. Mm -hmm. And no, that's where a relationship starts to fall apart or that they have start to have some disagreements mm -hmm. that can be avoided because it really comes down to the communication mm -hmm. and making sure that you don't get to that point. Right. Um, and I also think, too, it's important that that goes along with um, communication is that sometimes... When it comes down to communication, 
all communication isn't verbal. There's nonverbal communication as well. And I think it's very important to also pick up on your partner's body language Mm -hmm. and cues to try and understand what their needs are before certain things happen. You know, I know with Shane, sometimes he can read my body language and he'll be like, oh, I already know she's starting to feel overwhelmed or she's starting to feel you know, a certain emotion, how can I be available? How can I be of service? How can I help to um, make sure that she feels supported? Mm -hmm. And I think, again, that goes back to teamwork. It goes back to communication, whether it's verbal, nonverbal. And that's so important because sometimes, and I I think that I want to say this because when it comes to motherhood, it's so complex that I don't think Fathers Fathers understand it it sometimes, and that can bring challenges, the difficulty in a relationship or in a marriage. Motherhood is so complex, and sometimes we have so much going on. It goes back to what I was saying is that sometimes we can't always communicate what we need you to do because we just don't want to think about something else. We just need you to be present to understand our energy sometimes and also understanding that like, Hey, how can I be proactive in this situation? Like look around the house and just say like, Hey, mom seems very busy. She's having some challenges with the baby. Oh, the baby's laundry isn't done. I can take care of that. Or baby hasn't had a bottle yet. Let me go make a bottle for the baby and to help alleviate some of that stress. Um, And I think that that will also help too, because then it's not so much of the, Keeping score, score. and then it's teamwork. It's a collective. It's a collective effort. And that's and that's definitely something that we as men and as fathers sometimes Mm -hmm. can lack in, um, just overall. Because for the majority of people, for the majority of of relationships, the natural nurture Mm -hmm. is the mother. Right. And the father is less of a nurturer, basically. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes because it doesn't come as natural for the men and for fathers, we have to have more of a concerted effort. Of course. More of a concerted effort to put in that nurturing role Mm -hmm. and also be able able to be there for your partner, Mm -hmm. be there for your wife, but be that nurturer for your baby as well Mm -hmm. and figure out, you know, what does your baby need Mm -hmm. on a daily basis or on a hourly basis? Like being able to support the baby, but also in that moment of supporting your baby, you're also supporting your wife. You're supporting Mm -hmm. your partner. Mm -hmm. And those little things that you do, bless you, bless you. Those little things that you do make a huge difference Yes, for the mother Mm -hmm. of the child because they see that you're putting in all the small little things Mm -hmm. to help the baby Mm -hmm. but also helping you along the way right because that is what really the mother is asking for she's asking for help support Mm -hmm. she's asking for support and she's asking for you to be there Mm -hmm. present not only as a father you know for you know basketball games and sporting events and all that stuff she's Asking you to do the small things too, changing the pamper, feeding him, knowing when to feed him, mm-hmm. being there in the middle of the night. Right. All of these little small things might seem minute, but they really mean a lot to the mother. They mean a lot. They 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 certainly do, and it helps lessen the load. And I think lessen the load. Yep. To to lessen the load, and so to kind of circle back to the question at hand, the question that we posed is, does a baby make a relationship or marriage harder? And the answer to that question is absolutely, Mm -hmm. but you can get through it. Right. You know, the challenge, Oh, I'm sorry. I I was going to say, but you can get through it. It's going to be difficult. Um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you can't come out on the other side just because challenges arise, you know, yeah. because it's a new thing. It's right. it's a new chapter that you're stepping into. So it's never going to be easy when you step into a new chapter that's so foreign. You don't, you know, there's all the books in the world can't fully prepare you mm-hmm. for parenthood. Right. And so there's going to be challenges along the way. And as in turn, those challenges will have an effect on your relationship. Yeah. It will have an effect on your marriage, but it's important that, you know, the people in it 
have to do the work as well and understand that, okay, we're in a rough spot or, okay, there's some, cha- there's some challenges right now that we're, that we're dealing. What mm. can we do as a team to make sure we're still having this collaborative effort as parents, but we're not forgetting each other in the marriage. Like right. we're still showing up in our marriage and we're still showing up in the relationship. Yeah. And that be- can be hard because at times it will get put on the back burner. You know, you will have to shift priorities, but, um, understanding that you guys are a team you have to have clear communication and i think understanding going into it understanding that there will be challenges i think that that um right there is part of part of overcoming the battle yeah i think understanding that there's going to be challenges and understanding that you're letting go of part of your old self and right. your old lifestyle and you have to welcome this new chapter building a happy home yeah. building a happy marriage building a happy family all of those things take day in and day out work like yes. you said it's about those routines it's about those habits and building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage to pour into your relationship and to pour into yourself 